It's a big zoo. A mile and a half of paved and unpaved paths, strollers, wheelchairs, electric scooters, museum entrance, look, with cactus garden, mineral gallery, ancient Arizona, the, oh, vulture, coyote. There's what I wanted to see, the javelines. All right, let's start this. Okay, well, let's, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Here we go. Joy, if you want, we could track all 18 animals. But we get their, their footprints. <laughs> well, if you wanted to, you if can. You to. Collect all 18, so you can stamp away. And we have an aquarium right at the start. I mean, I know you wouldn't think of the aquarium for the desert, but this goes from the rivers to the sea, tracking the Colorado River down to the Gulf of California. <laughs> These humpback chubs only occur in the Grand Canyon portion of the Colorado River and in the parts of the lower Little Colorado. Drams drastically altered their uh, natural habitat. Got some round tail chubs now. And here we have the Sonora chubs, the smallest of all chubs. The biggest they can get is five to eight inches long. I never heard of these. I knew of rainbow trout. That's what I thought it was when I first came up with. But this is actually an Apache trout. Got some more eels here. I think that one is the zebra more right here. Let's look at it, look more like stripes. You see the snowflake? Do you have a question? Is that a baby shark? I like this one guy peeking out. It's a, a big, this is a big scale soldier fish. Oh, I called him out by his name and he came out to say hi. Found some horses out in the, the Sonora Desert. We found wild horses, Joy. Do they have fries? Hmm? Do they have fries? Baby seahorse is purple fry. I did not know that. Now I know that fact. <laughs> Baby seahorse is a cold fries. Would you like a side of fries? Reptiles and invertebrate. And wildflowers. They got a little heart because it was just Valentine's Day. And here we have a Isla San Esteban Chakwala. My trip to Arizona is complete. Awesome. What's the one thing I said I wanted to say? And there he is. A Gia monster. I remember, I can't remember how young I was, but I first learned about them on Reading Rainbow when I was a little boy. LeVar Burden had some guy who was showing it. And ever since then, I've wanted to see a Gia monster. And they have one here. Ooh. Sonoran Desert Sidewinder. I wish he was gone. You see how the body slithers across the sand? Yeah. So I have a question, Joy. It's a really pretty snake, but how do I milk it? Why? Because it's a milk snake. Milkshake? No, a milk snake, not a milkshake. <laughs> I mean, if you shake it, you will have a shaken milk snake, but I don't think they'd like that. Mm -hmm. We have a Mexican boa hiding around the back. You see the part of his tail, but I like that. His heart for Valentine's Day actually has two snakes cut out of it. Here we have a Mojave rattlesnake. A large rattlesnake, reach up to four feet. But here, when I think of a rattlesnake, this is what I think of. He's hiding out there. That's a western diamondback rattlesnake. It's funny, here we have a brown vine snake. People are looking around, I can't find him, I can't find him. If you look, this thing that's going across French is actually the snake. You can see his head right there. When I was like, oh, that has to be too easy. He smelled that air with his tongue. There it goes. Ooh, here we have a canyon tree frog. 
You can see him chilling on the wall of the canyon they built him. This is based off the tropical Sonoran River. And we have a big old frog chilling up here. Enjoy. Should I show them what nightmares are made out of? The Black Widow enclosure. Okay, here we go. Just look at them in there, Joy. This one making its web and the webs all throughout, the baby eggs all throughout. I like this. We have a new resident here. Don't bug me. I've just moved in. A Mexican grass mantis. He's just getting adjusted to his new home. Even though he's not really a scorpion, but he's called a water scorpion. You see this bug right over here. Not even a arachnid, but an aquatic insect. The cave and minerals of the mountain woodland. Continuing down the trail to the cave. Stop. Darkness ahead. Joy, you want me to teach you a trick to make your eyes adjust quicker? Close your eyes. Close your eyes for about 30 seconds. Loop trail, a true caving experience. 75 feet of low ceiling, steep climbs, rough footing, extremely tight passages. Loop rejoins main trail at exhibit ahead. Let's hope my backpack fits. Oh yeah. We're going through it. There's a nice little opening here. Joy, just remember. What? Stalag tight. Hold so hold tight, because otherwise you might, stalag might yeah, fall. <laughs> No, if the leg tight, hold tight to the ceiling, it's yes. the leg might, 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 might one day reach the ceiling. Yep. <laughs> that was really tight. I had to take off the backpack to get through it. It is a fun 75 feet little uh, trail here, though. It is so fun. Okay, I don't know you how well you, yeah, you can't see me. I can see that. Well, you see the little lights that they hide. But that's what we see, is what the camera sees. And then this is where we're going. <laughs> They're like little slanted steps. Okay. Ooh. Videoing and walking and not being able to see is a fun new skill I'm developing. You got it. I know I got it. The stalactite imitates an icicle with the dripping here at the popcorn area. How do stalactites grow? Well, you see it's calcite, CO2, and H2O, and the calcite separates from the H2O, and it, and it forms right there. You can, see one, you can see one dripping right here. It's going to form. I like learning about fossilized limestone made actually from seashells when this was all underwater and you can see the seashells in the rocks. <laughs> what? I am Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Bartok. It is crazy because you do hear a lot different with the big giant ears. Do you hear like totally Chris the Crew, like I'm next to you, kind of? Yeah, I'm also hearing echoes from a different angle. Yeah. But you are, I've come here to suck your blood. No. no. Not that kind of bat? No, not a vampire bat. You know what kind of bat it is? What? <laughs> in fact, everyone should love bats because no one likes mosquitoes and a single bat could eat 1,200 insects in one hour. That's why I like bats. They can eat all the mosquitoes for me. We're learning about the Hohokam people, the ancient people of the Sonoran Desert. Hokurum cave schematic cross section. See more artifact profound. Oh, I like this. Natural rock basin in artificial room. And they have a flashlight here that someone has to change the batteries on in a while. <laughs> I think so. The other one worked. Yeah, oh, it works there. We can see it now. All the old artifacts. Look at that, Joy. We actually have an iron meteorite. Please touch the Allendale meteorite. It's 
maybe the oldest thing you will ever touch. It was formed before the earth. And part of it's maybe older than the sun. That's pretty cool. You see the earth when it was still like a boiling mess, blah, 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 blah. blah. And, and, and stuff. four billion years ago, and three billion, we're starting two billion years ago, things are starting to, things are starting to happen, Joy. It's crazy, like, we're having dinosaurs 100 million years ago. But the world is four billion years. But this is what I want to get. Look at the mastodon tusk. And right there, Joy, the saber tooth cat. We're continuing ancient Arizona. Joy, I found the gem of minerals. Ooh, sulfur. Ooh, I like this one. It almost looks like trees with the clouds behind it. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Ooh, look at that pretty turquoise. Beautiful opal. I like how they show them the raw rock and what the cut gemstones look like. Joy, I think we found a man of mine. Oh my god. All the kids want to bring the mantle line home. I don't think he would like that. But the thing is, I think Joy also wants to bring the mantle line home. Mommy, I'm in the cave. Maggie, but I can't. If you try to see, you just scratch his butt. I'm trying to get down. Not into butt. Joy, he's seeing us going to lunch. Yeah, really. Where's my lunch going? Look at the face. It's funny, there was a little girl to our left. The mountain lion truthfully was watching the little girl because the moment the little girl got up and walked away, the mountain lion's like, I'm the looking at these people and left. And everyone was waiting to see the mountain lion and he's gone. Done. In the midden, pack rat playhouse. I'm a pack rat. Yeah, we've, we've recently found that out. I'm like, ooh, shiny thing, I want to take it. I always thought it was part raccoon, I guess I'm also part pack rat. <laughs> Come out of the box. <gasps> you little walkie pie. There's the man of mine again. There he is. Joe was sitting there, just totally wanted to get a picture of the, the mountain lion, but wasn't happening. All we get is the tail end of it. Right there. Sorry, Joe. At least we got him on video. I just <laughs> wanted to switch and get a photo of him. <laughs> it's supposed to be a black bear. But all we see is this iguana. This iguana. Oh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> and there's some squirrels that have been running around in here, too. I don't see the black bear at the moment. No American black bear. Yeah. Just little squirrels. See, we have a Mexican gray wolf. He's hiding right behind that bush, but you could sort of make him out. You can come here. You see him? I came near Joy. He's still hiding behind the same bush. But I figured this way you don't have that. Oh, he's so cute. He's paying attention to the birds flying around. Yep. Joy showed me there was another wolf sitting right here. <laughs> These are my favorite animal. And you just woke know. up. Hello there. And back to sleep. Starring the desert grasslands. Joy, I found it, Joy. I found the desert. I, it's all around us. Oh. Get ready for the real desert experience. <laughs> I like it. Welcome morning. <laughs> coyote, I knew you heard them. God's dog. I like it. Don't see him yet. 
to a friend the coyote statue. He's gonna get that little prey. But not a real coyote. Nope. It's funny. We see him in the wild, we come to the zoo, we don't see the coyote. <laughs> I know, right? It's yeah, funny. So funny. I saw a coyote now in two national parks. Saw them in the Great Smoky Mountain once when I was a kid, and now I saw it here, out in uh National Park right right outside of where we were earlier. The Segura? Yeah, the Segura National Park. I don't see one here though at the zoo. Not yet, we still have, we're still walking around as we go. I know, I know. We found it, we found the javelinas. Javelina, shanti javelina. There it is. I don't know if you can see that. They blend in nicely though. The sign didn't lie. This is the Javi hotspot because they were hiding out right there under the tree. You like this ca canyon logo here? I like this is cute. This is for Joy. And Joy found the sleeping gray fox. He was hard to find. We're looking all around this big enclosure. No, no. Up high, to, hiding on the rock. Oh, you see it? Yeah. The gray fox enclosure doesn't get a paper heart. He gets a rock car. On the life of rocks, we have the stream hunt that we have all these frogs. Oh, that's cute. All the frogs. Wow. Yeah, they're like, they're oh. feeling froggy. Jump. In all the frogs. Orange, Look down. Oh, Yay, another Gia yeah. monster. Oh, yeah. I see him in there. Cactus wins my favorite cactus of the day. It looks like Siamese twin Sagoro cactus. And I love these ones. You can really see where the birds made nests into the cactus. Mm -hmm. Desert grassland. We've been searching, we searched, we finally found some animals. Prairie dogs. Black tailed prairie dogs. Hey, little buddy. Hello there. Look at him wagging his tail. He's like, no, I want, I want to get in there. I'm coming in too. Here I come. While the last black-tailed prairie dog was seen in Arizona in 1960, it is possible to try to reestablish black-tailed prairie dogs on existing, undeveloped lands where they used to live. Yeah, we don't want to get too close to him. That's interesting. I hope you guys come back one time. Besides living in this cool little Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. Who's your little prairie dog? Who's your little prairie dog? You are. <laughs> oh, look, we have herring. Oh, it's coming. Oh, God. Luca. The great blue heron. Oh, yeah. He sees something. Oh, Luca, let's go. He likes the child. Can you hold grandpa's hand? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. I can relax. Yeah. 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 Seriously? I never seen her. He was like all stressed out because of the kid. Yeah. Well, what you missed when we were looking at the prairie dogs was the little kid was sitting here and the herring started pecking at the glass to get to the kid and the kid fell off the sledge. Go down let's see if he tries to peck at you. Not yet. No, he said no. Nope. He's not going to peck at you. Never seen that for So these other birds are caracaras. In here with the vulture. <laughs> squirrel in the background. Squirrel's getting brave. <laughs> Those vultures would come and eat you away, squirrel. Oh, look. Now we get a good view of the character. He's showing off for the camera. Vultures are a linen hidden, but I want to show you all a fact, Joyce, so you know. When you look at me, 
Bald isn't bad. It's actually beautiful. Bald heads help radiate excess heat away from the body. So that's why I have it. I'm so beautiful. I have Rex's heat away from the body because I'm too hot. This poor coyote, it's showing all the animals is defense mechanisms. And turkey vulture's defense is puking. Sonora mud turtles stink. Regal horned lizard, they squirt blood from their eyeballs. And the hooded skunk defense is he sprays stink at you. Poor Cody, he just wants to have a light snack. Joy, there's a rattlesnake snake right near me. He, do you hear him? He doesn't sound happy to see me. Joy, back away slowly. Back away slowly. Okay, maybe it's me making the rattlesnake sound. And if you all didn't get enough cactus, there's even a cactus garden here. Now we're not gonna look at all, but I do like this thing. Looks like a, a smooth cactus without any spikes. And this is cool about the great Segoro cactus we were looking at. How tiny. When is it three years old? Five years old? Ten years old? Fifteen years old? It really, some of them grow like we were looking at how much, Joy? 18, 20 feet? I don't know but how many years it takes for them to get it. If it takes 15 years to get about a foot tall. Underwater viewing. Joy, make sure you hold your breath. <gasps> oh wait, we're not underwater. We're gonna just view the underwater. My mistake. I, I apologize. This feels nice getting out of the desert air for a second. It's nice. <laughs> Joy, look at this. The bony tail chub. I'm a beaver, beaver wearer, beaver all. And when we get together, we do the beaver call. And yeah, 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 Good night, Mr. Beaver. Sadly, the coaties, they're not in the enclosure. We didn't see the otter, but I saw the beaver, and Joy saw the chub. I don't, I don't know what's funny about that. Joy. Yes? You're looking a little parched. Yep. I think you need to be refreshed. Should we go find some refreshments? Yes. Okay. Oh, perfect. The cottonwood refreshments. Just what we need. You'll be all refreshed in a second. Hmm. So we went to get refreshments and I ran into a little bit of a problem. I got this brown sugar ice cream Whiskey. that has Saigon cinnamon in it. Now the problem I have is in the winter, this fall into winter, of 1999, Haagen-Dazs had a cinnamon ice cream, mm. which I ate and became my all-time favorite ice cream. And then it stopped after a few months. This ice cream tastes just like that. And now I know where it is, in a museum in Arizona, where I can't get it in your home. This is my favorite ice cream. It reminds me just like that Haagen-Dazs cinnamon ice cream. It's so good. I was gonna have Joy film me eating it, so I had to set up this little mini tripod with cell phones because she was a little busy. She wasn't even able to film me. We also got an agave limeade, which tastes good, but this, this is one of the greatest things in the world. Oh. I was gonna share an ice cream with Joy. I'm glad I didn't. I was gonna say she knows me good enough that she knew I would want to eat it all, but I guess I should have known her good enough that She'd want to eat her all too. Yeah, there's some things that we're not sharing. <laughs> this is good. And for a little added fee here, you could pay to go to the Stingray Touch area. It's nice that they have stuff like this for the kids and for the adults that want to touch stingrays. I'm striking out a lot at this uh, the zoo. I don't see that there's tours. The ice cream made it all worth it, but uh, <laughs> there's a lot of animals that are sleeping or tucked away or we just don't even see. It's like this tortoise. Walking Avery. Mesquite grassland. Some sort, it's a duck. Duck. <laughs> duck. Duck. Goose. You didn't you didn't chase me. No. <laughs> 
This building's for the birds. Yeah. Literally, it's an aviary. I'm looking for the birds. I hear them all around me. <laughs> That's the point. They're all around. They're right in the tree. I see. More, I see more dovey type birds. Yeah, I think that's what that's. That's what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. You don't see this in most museums. This is a quick serve grill, which you see often. There actually is a full sit-down restaurant. It's pretty cool. That is. Only two things we have left. Life Underground and the Hummingbirds. We're gonna check out Life Underground first. Life Underground. <laughs> Please walk quietly. The animal health ahead are resting. It seems that every animal we're trying to see here is resting. Then we have a little kangaroo rat. We can see he is resting. He's a cute little guy right there. So we walked this whole way to look at life underground and all we saw was that kangaroo rat. Everything else really is resting that we couldn't even find it. Mm -hmm. Well, we saw the kangaroo rat back above ground. Interesting, it's saying that there are more species of hummingbirds in the Sonoran Desert than any other part in the United States. Let's go look for some hummingbirds. Right there, we already have a hummingbird. And another one. All right, now this, look, already have another hummingbird. This part of the zoo, or the desert museum, does not disappoint. It said hummingbirds, there are hummingbirds. And he just went that way. He's, he's one here making an, if you see there's a hummingbird and they're making a nest out of the little fuzz, they leave the fuzz here for the hummingbirds to make nests out of. Here we have some of the different hummingbirds. They're territorial and aggression. Hummingbirds chase one another about this aggressiveness in the expression of their territoriality. Yep, this one right there on top of the wire. I'm Joe Block's view. Zoom in, you watch his tongue come in now. So cute. It's all I do about it. Bye bye, hummingbirds. So are these those spinning yes. Tibetan prayer wheels? <laughs> Should I spin them? No, don't spin them. Oh, oh, they're bee houses. That might not end well. Yeah, no, you don't want to do that. No, you don't want to anger the bees. One more thing before we leave. We didn't see a good javelina in the place. They were sleeping. So we see one here. And you know what? I'm going to feed this javelina. I'm going to feed it. it. Donation. <laughs> How to keep these exhibits going. <laughs> Oh, wow. That was a fun day. Whew. You did good, Joy? Oh, yeah. These days out in the desert sun do get you tired quick. It's still early in the day, but I'm like ready to go nap. to bed at like 4 in the <laughs> afternoon. But we did have, a, we did do a lot. We got yeah. to um, the Segura National Park around 8.30 this morning, quite early. Yeah. We did the giant loop, saw the petroglyphs. I thought it was awesome. I've never seen something like that, that old in this country. So I thought that was pretty, pretty cool, yeah. actually. Oh, wow. It's hot. It's February and it's hot. I don't know how people live here year round. Especially in the summer. And I was happy. We did see the wild coyote. Yeah. We did see the wild coyote there in the Cigar National Park. And then we came over here to we where we're at now. Because we didn't see a lot of other animals. And we came over here to the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum, which is more like a zoo than a museum. Yeah, it got hot out. 76 degrees out. 
Ooh. February 76. I don't know how people live here when it goes over the... Mm -mm. When is triple? Yeah, triple digits. Mm -mm. So, we came to the museum, aka zoo. We looked around. Joe is very happy. We got a really good up and close view to a puma, aka mountain lion. I awesome. saw really good views of the Mexican gray wolves, which wolves are one of my favorite. A lot of animals we didn't see. Mm -hmm. We saw a beaver really close. We saw a beaver really close. And then we got ice cream. The best ice cream I've had since 1999. Brown sugar with cinnamon. Oh, yeah. So I'd say, all in all, it was a good day. A little hiking. Yeah. We saw the, the desert in its natural state at the National Park. And then yeah. we came to a desert museum and saw it with artificial states. Well, it's weird. Because usually zoos, they build artificial enclosures. There's a big desert loop walk where there's no artificial enclosures. Mm -hmm. They literally just made these <laughs> giant pens using the actual desert. And they have the coyotes and the javelinas. javelinas and some stuff like that, which was cool. It was a little too big. We didn't see the coyotes, but we did finally find the javelinas sleeping under a tree. Two of them cuddled up close. Mm, that sounds really good right now. Because they rubbed their faces on the other ones, sent glands on their back to... To yeah, form, well, if they form bonds. That's how they form the pack. They make a distinct pack smell. Mm. Joy, can we make a pack smell? You can pack your own smell. I think I am making a pack <laughs> smell. It's, it's hot out in the desert, like I was saying. But I think we could call it Joy. Do you think we could call it? I definitely think we can call it the Sonora Desert. Here outside of Tucson, be it the National Park or the Arizona. Sonora Desert Museum. Been there, done that. Remember, folks, safe travels. Good eats. And live life. I've been waiting all day to do it. <laughs> Hello, Joy. Hello. Wow, you finally got to.